Hello fellow beings of Middle-earth and welcome back to the Dwarves of Erebor campaign. This is the seventh episode and we can already see how devastating these ballista towers are and this is why I don't really want to... Yeah, you just don't really want to play siege battles in this patch. Just look at these siege towers like how much damage they have done to these armored dwarves already. These guys got the, these guys got the armor upgrade so they look pretty nice. Uh, we have a pretty large army and I think this is the last settlement of Angmar, hopefully. They have a lot of generals here. Uh, let's hope they just stack up over here so that we can just rush in and take their uh, taro, arrow towers. Because these ballista towers are just so devastating. Already lost like, yeah you can see how many. Like these towers will, I don't think they actually care about how much hit points you're a units have so it's very easy to lose your general like this so you really want to be very careful with your general in this patch I think I'm going to send in the trash first and just try to run through here and just prevent these guys from holding the wall so I'm probably going to run this unit just over here and hold over here and the Don't other unit will probably try we'll to take the walls and eventually we'll send in them all. We also have some Axe Guard of Erebor with us, which is nice. They don't have the armor upgrade though. You can see that pretty large difference from Gimli's bodyguard, which got the, the armor upgrade. Now, I want you guys, if you have seen the Game of Thrones episode, the third one, the battle for Winterfell, I want you to comment what you thought of that. I thought it was extraordinary and very exciting to watch. I'm really hoping the Lord of the Rings series can have some nice battle, se battle scenes, definitely. And I think we can see a lot of the conflicts uh, in Eredor, where Sauron invades uh, Eregion and such. And he almost makes it all the way to Mithrond, which is uh, which could make for a very good screen. Alright, drop the ram and get these buggers on the walls. These guys will just run over here and prevent these guys from using the walls. Alright, you guys just run through. And you guys head in. You just see how quickly these guys are falling apart. It's so dangerous. These guys want to run. We want to put one unit up here and bring down those because they're going to cause so much damage on us. And I think it's time we send in some more units as well. Let's get in more of these guys. These guys will just stay here and occupy these units. Ah, they got some war skirmishes, that's too bad. But they don't have a lot of them, so that's fine. These guys can go up and take out the Rudar units. And these guys will just assist in taking down the units over here. So this is of course the unit they really want to use against us. And they also have a lot of skirmishes right here. I think we need to send these spearmen a little bit quicker. These guys will do some damage here, but uh, we'll see if they will get proper shots. It looks like they're actually getting arcing shots, which is good for us. These guys are going to get shredded by the ballista towers though, but we just have to bring down this unit so that the ballista towers will no longer operate. We should have had some spears here, yeah, but they are coming in now. I just wanted to show you guys a siege battle because we haven't seen a lot of them. At least we have seen too few of them. Yeah, look at these guys, they're probably getting... Yeah, they're getting some nice uh, shots right into our units right here. I think this is the last of Angmar settlements, so it doesn't really matter. Alright, let's try to just run them through and bring down a lot of them very quickly. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Run through. Looks like we're not really able to surround them right here. Alright, let's try this one. That might work. I'm just kind of stuck there. We could take them from two sides, but I rather want to use these spearmen over here. The army consists mainly out of these <laughs> bodyguards. They have like three bodyguards. The faction heir, the faction leader and such. These guys will be able to do a lot of damage on these um, 
on these rocks. I'm going to put them in shield wall just so that I can push a little bit more through. These guys are firing so they will not stand up very good to our attacks. But uh, they will of course... Oh, let's get these guys over here. And I, th I suppose these guys could go around and surround these guys completely. And as when we get rid of these uh, towers, we're going to get so much more done. These guys have... Yeah, only a slight armor upgrade. I don't know if they can get more armor upgrade than this though. We're going to put them out of shield wall once they hit these guys. Just do one more charge and that's going to cause some mass. And then we just hit them. I'm going to save our axe throws for the town square. I think that's going to be exciting. Now you guys hit the Rudar pikemen. Just look at them, like 30 dwarves have been killed so far just by arrow towers. Our, these guys are probably inflicting some damage actually. But they're still pretty overpowered those arrow towers. Or ballista towers in this case. Come on. And this is why I usually don't play siege battles, you see this. And these guys, they're kind of struggling over here. They're not probably not going to run over here. It was smart by these guys to put pikes up here because you're going to be able to do some damage. It doesn't look like these guys are actually listening to me. That's also another reason the the siege battles you play in Med 2 is often very very buggy. You can probably send in some of these guys. At least these guys are starting to fall apart now. Let's see if this strategy is going to work. They should just be able to run straight through this little section now and they should be able to hit them. Let's see if it works out. No, it doesn't look like these... I thought these places were connected but it looks like they, it might not actually. But I'm tempted to go over here actually to flank around these works. Yeah, that's going to work out. But these guys are so many under. They're taking out these pikes so slowly. Pikes is the perfect unit to put right here. So this, these guys aren't really listening to what I'm saying. I think I'm going to speed up this battle though. It's just a choky battle at this point. And I will see you when we start hitting the town center. We actually see some routing here. The, stamp, the stone food spearmen have been caused a route. You see a lot of these guys are actually struggling for morale over here. We'll probably need to send a couple more units here, but uh, we are they are on their way. We're going to use some um, axes now. At least we have claimed these ballista towers, so it will not cause any issue. But yeah, we see a chain route over here, which is not too good. Let's give these guys some axes in their face. Let's see how that works out. Let's just run them all. This is pretty rare, considering we see the dwarves over here. But here we are getting some nice axes into action. These guys are probably going to be occupied in melee soon though. But they're definitely getting their money. Alright, we're going to send the artists now and start using them. Uh, the Stoneford Spearmen are already back in melee actually. I also sent in the general just to have a little bit better morale. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. But you see how devastating a siege battle can be, considering we would have crushed these guys on the field. Alright. We'll have more axe throwers here though. We have plenty to be honest. These guys are just going to shoot these guys in the rear now. We have a lot of routing here though. Even the Erebor infantry is routing. Kind of disappointing. But we're going to get in some nice shots over here. These guys are on their way and will be here shortly. You see, already the general has lost like two men. You see how powerful these siege ballista towers are. And that's. I think they're a little bit too OP in this patch. They are just very, very strong. And it doesn't really make any sense to go into a siege battle. Um, when you're meeting such uh, great, such great uh, defensive forces. Alright, let's get some shots in here now. There we go. That's what we need. 
I'm thinking to send these guys around here and flank a little bit. We could e actually we could even use the towers. I'm actually going to put them over here, and I'm going to flank and go down here. We'll see how that works out. That's interesting. These guys are getting some arcing shots. That's fine. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be In the end, it will only be down to these witch knights. I want to see some axes thrown now, boys. By the way, I'm sorry if I haven't been uploading more faction guides and such. A little bit more varied content in of lately. But I do have a lot of um, exams now, and it's really starting to to be a lot, so I have to focus on that at the moment. Oh, we're probably going to get, yeah, actually just stay right there. These guys are probably going to fight uh, with us on the walls, that's fine. We can actually use our archers to efficiency here, if they all go up on the wall we can shoot them in the rear, so that's actually just perfect. These guys are getting crushed now, for some reason. Let's send in these guys. And let's send in some more axe, th axe throwers over here. Let's get these guys here. And same with these guys. It's probably the witch nuts which is causing some uh, issues now. These guys are going to get shredded on the wall, so... But using your artist to shoot enemies with, when they're standing like this is very, very good. Especially with Elven Archers, they're going to drop so quickly. And crossbows is very useful for this purpose. Uh, normal Archers will not do as well, but crossbows they are definitely, they're definitely good at uh, such students. Let's send a general over here. And having your axe throwers over here and throwing into these guys will also work very well. They have a lot of witch knights, but we do still have these guys. The I'm kind of tempted to just they keep this unit and rather use them for a ba another siege battle. Just save them because I do want to stack up a very elite force and send it down to Rune. And I think those guys could be a part of that army. Alright, the plan is working pretty well now, but we do need more infantry over here. Should probably send over some of these guys as well, since they're armor piercing against the witch knights. Wow, these guys are pushed pretty far. Yeah, they're actually over here. To push all the way over to the town center. Are they racking up kills? Yeah, they are. That's so cool. Alright, let's see. They're right here now. They're going to get shredded by these towers though. Let's have one unit uh, over here as well. It'll be the perfect angle in the side of these guys. Yeah, just look at these guys. Lost nine, but lost like 30 dwarves already. And I actually forgot to move a dwarven unit later and just look at how much they got shredded. These guys could just burst go into this blob, I think. Alright, I think this is the faction leader. It might be, at least. Tend to send these guys a little bit closer. And these guys... They should... Yeah, you could just throw over here and see if you get some nice hits. These guys also have the armor upgrade. Looks very wonderful. Let's see if they can get some nice uh, axes thrown. Yeah, there we go. Might get some friendly fire over here. What is this dwarven unit? Oh, it's just a general. Got some other kind of, kind of units. Oh, jeez, our general has pushed a little bit too far here. Go and hit these guys in the back instead. And you need to cover their retreat. Give the witch knight some hell. Probably getting some friendly fire over there as well, but that's fine. The general pushed out way too far. You guys should hit these guys as well. All the archers have been doing some nice work on the conscripts now. Let's just hit the witch knights at this point. 
Is our general here? Yeah, that's fine. Alright, let's get him over here. And these guys will just keep hitting. Yeah, these guys are getting completely devastated by axes from both sides. That's just wonderful. Axe throws is a very, very useful unit, in my opinion. These guys should just hit this now. So just standing still. Oh, yeah, look at this. Oh. We got some nice generals here. Or officers, it's rather called, I think. But here the reinforcements are finally coming in, and it's very much needed at this point. Let's get them over here. We're still getting a lot of kills, though. Just look at these axes. And when these guys are out, the witch lights will be... Yeah, they will be brought up pretty quickly. Let's send in one of these guys as well. They have the armor upgrade. Just look at how wonderful they look. Look very much like... Um, the battle is very much Balin's uh, brother, what is it? Dvalin. Fast, they look the very much based our... upon him. Like, this guy looks exactly like uh, Dvalin in the Hobbit movies. Uh, these guys still have some ammo, just get rid of it. And you guys can just hit the hillman now. These guys are also having some issues with the morale. It's probably because of the Ballista Towers, that's my guess. I do not know, however. Let's just get them down here. And from this point on, this should just be... It's not really that interesting, I think. It's just going to be a choky battle, but we are going to take the victory here. But you see, my point with this battle was just to prove how stupid it is to take siege battles. Even though it might be more enjoyable, it's not even that enjoyable considering it's medieval too. we're talking about here. So I will probably see when I have defeated these guys. And there he goes down, the last faction leader of Angmar. Overlord oh, Roda Khan. It was in the last. All right. We have taken control of the castle. Let's uh, send some uh, axes into the backs of uh, the witch knights and just see the destruction of Angmar. And there goes go. All the generals is now down. Uh, look at this. Uh, there we go. I think that's the end of these guys. It's about. Still have a uh, Rudar pikeman over here. One remaining. Wow. And there we go. And now it's all about these guys. Just get rid of them and we will have the victory. Let's get these guys through and just kill them. And that is probably and hopefully the end of Angmar. I don't think they have any more settlements now. This was their capital. Let's hope they didn't have any anything else. But you see, when you fight a siege battle, you'll take almost the same losses and probably more. But we had way better troops, so that's why we took so. We could have taken a lot more casualties if it were another map. And that's why it's also pretty wise to defend against the enemy on such maps. If you have these ballista towers and you just have some nice holding troops, probably spearmen, you'll be able to hold the enemy for quite a long time and that should really help you out in the long run. Now my exam period is over the 6th of June, oh, 6th of June. so it's, uh, it's still a pretty long uh, time. But I will just keep uploading at least these campaigns and I will start uploading lore videos as soon as I can. I really want to get that out of the way. I really Glory think that's interesting. Let's sack them. Uh, let's see if they are indeed... Yeah, they are done for, finally. And we are now... Ah, there is Haldan. There he is with his great army. Gurin. Ah, we're now bordering our allies ah oh, that's wonderful the dwarven border is restored and great is this meeting welcome to you gurin on our own land all right so now this army is completely freed which is great I'm going to just merge them the axe guard i'm probably going to send i'm going to send a lot of these troops away we don't definitely don't need all of these guys here 
Let's just go for the brewery when we can. The culture is pretty bad right here. And it's not making a lot of money either. <laughs> I think we are going to send... Or like, Lily can just stay here, I think. Let's just see what units we can send away this turn. These guys. We're probably going to send them to Dane. He probably needs some troops at this point. And we're just going to send these guys away as well. So these guys will just head all the way over to Dane, I think. Or should we just disband them? Yeah, this is just way too long. I'm probably just going to disband them. I'm just going to do it uh, for the money, to be honest. And this border is now no longer threatened. That's a lot of money right there. Yeah, that's like 4,000, I think. Ah, probably not that much. We need to get Gimli out of this place now. But we can finally start recruiting some interesting units here. Now, otherwise in the world, I think we're just waiting. Yeah, we're waiting for them to attack this army. We're just going to hold here. And let these... Probably don't have Ballista Towers here. But we still have a pretty nice... Probably Arrow Towers, I think. Yeah, extra wall defenses. I will not waste words on you. This army can just attack us and we'll have a nice siege battle. I think we can just end the turn and see what the world brings to us, to be honest. In next turn we'll finish off the Orkani Royal Hall and we'll be able to recruit some real interesting units. <laughs> and I, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start preparing the great army which is going to conquer the whole of Rune. We're going to make two giant armies, one to conquer Rune and one to conquer Mordor. And it's only going to consist of elites. And we have already started uh, making this army. In Mount Gundabad we have one unit of um, the Gundabad guard. I'll probably send another one of those units. I, yeah, we are recruiting one more unit of those now, I think. Ah, of course they're going to attack Dane. No surprise right there. Let's see what they bring to us. Yeah, I'm going to skip this battle. Uh, I'll fight it off camera. It's not going to be a challenge. The Ballista we can just bring down with the uh, Dale and Cav. And we know how weak and pathetic these guys are. So I will see you right after the battle. And the hammers charge into the rear of these Goblin infantry. It's a close battle. Or we haven't lost 20% but our army at this point is pretty small. But uh, we have been fighting valiantly. A lot of our troops have gained a lot of experience. And you see, this is a really battle-hardened uh, army at this point. Uh, these guys are actually getting charged. And we even have to throw in our uh, archers just to cause a lot of damage on these guys. Uh, these guys are actually facing the orc bodyguards. But yeah, I will see you after the battle. But just to show you that it's a nice battle and the hammers are racking up kills. Looks like the general is going to get away here. I'm trying to catch them, but they're just... Yeah, he got away. It was a long battle and we lost 40% of our army. I think we cannot push uh, further now. Our army is pretty small. But this was a heroic victory indeed. Only taking 380 loss and killing 3,100. Sons of the Fallen getting so much kills. Dale Cavalry as well. Hammers of Gundabad <laughs> only lost 5 men and killed 323. That's amazing. All of these guys got a lot of kills though. Uh, that was really good, really good. But the goblins will just keep pushing out the armies. I think we need to make our stand at Sagkhala and wait for reinforcements now. But we definitely need some reinforcements down here. But I think we need to send them from Framsburg and such, which is a little bit closer. Our body is so stretched now, which is not really that fortunate. And we should never have divided our forces in the east and in the west. We should have focused on one at a time. At least we got these buggers off now. But we need to take Casa Doom west, and then our victory will be complete on this front. 
but you just see they will just keep coming with those stacks and we don't have a lot of cavalry left here either so let's see what the world brings to us this turn ah we're finally having some money here Edras is sieged all right hold on he will just stay there for the entirety of the time we might attack him at some point now let's see if we can leave all of these guys we can leave behind these guys yeah and these will just send probably we could send them to the mountains because they're pretty good Or we could just, yeah, at least these guys are going to send over here. We now have two units of hammers, which I'm going to just save for the elite army. We'll have these guys as well. And looking at the king's axes and king's shields as well. I need to send them down here. Let's get the... Uh, uh, we already have a lot of money going on right here. Or the culture is fine. Let's get this and we'll have units in the next turn. And these guys can of course be sent down here. Oh, just look at these guys though, they have so many armies still. Yeah, it's definitely time to go back to Sakhala. But at least we have a lot of troops there, so we'll be able to make a great stand over here. And I don't see the hammers vanishing at any time soon. And we can soon, yeah, we just recruit here I think. No, we might want to wait a little bit. Ah, finally in Onasana. Let's see. And here we got them. The Blacklock Engineers. And the Iron Fist Hammers is still... Yeah, there's still a couple turns away. But they are monsters. And these guys, 13 missile attack. They are just like Saruman's uh, bodyguard. Just not as good in melee, but they still perform very well. And we are building a lot of nice buildings here. These guys were just headed over here to actually strengthen. Yeah, we need to strengthen against Rina a little bit. Let's send them over here. We have a lot of cavalry we can send down south as well. You were just heading over to our own border. And in Rubar, yeah, they have a pretty large force uh, coming up against us in Rubar. I'm just going to hold here. And if we are actually pretty smart now, we could get the Dwarven Catapult right after this one. And start just... Having a Dwarven Catapult down here would be very useful. Aye. But Aye. yeah, this is the closest army we have. And it's going to yeah, take Not pretty long until it will sire. be there. My lord. Will, my lord. We can send this army as well. And eventually we'll be able to recruit stuff here. Yeah, we have a really good culture here. So you're just going to go for the garrison quarters right away. And just keep streaming troops down south. We do want to get the barracks as many places as possible though. Because we want to get a lot of these elites. Now, let's see. We want to focus a little bit on economy as well. Yeah, and the roads is just going to make it so that these guys can travel much faster. And it's definitely worth it over here. This place can still not upgrade. One more turn until we got the barracks. Uh, I think we'll get uh, another unit of dragon slayers then. I'm not sure, but I, I do believe so. Uh, that's going to be nice. And it's still a long time, but we're getting some uh, Sons of the Fallen over here, at least. And I think we can recruit them in Kandum as well, yeah. I'm just going to recruit these guys just to send them over here, so we can see some new units. I think that's going to be interesting now this diplomat we should yeah we should actually probably when i think about it ask northern dundan for some trade rights i mean um, map information and the newly conquered settlements here will just build up eventually we don't need the armor ah the dwarven catapult let's get it and it's going to take a long while until we get it uh, in action but it's still nice just having it's readily available. We're going to get the barracks here as well. Because if we're going to stack up Sons of the Fall, we'll need to... If we're going to start making that giant army, we'll have to get them as many places as possible. Alright, let's get these guys. And we're going to build probably the Dwarven Catapult here. Actually, we don't need it here. We're going to go for the... Yeah, we need some... We need some men, more elites here. And the more places we can get the Sons of the Fallen, the better. 
But in Erebor, it will definitely be important to start getting some elites as well. And a lot of Axe Guard. That's going to be very useful. And we are mostly going to send them over to the east now. We will have to send another general here and clear up some of this non-visible land. And Skarn. We'll see what to do about it. We'll probably buy it later. It was just an exchange for the meantime. So now we are meeting a little bit more peaceful times. Even though we're still fighting in the west, it's not on two fronts, it's only one front. Which is making it a little bit easier for us. But if you look at our body, it's just like the entire north. That's like it. What could have been cool for the dwarves, a script, would be some kind of dragon script where there came some there came a dragon from the north or, th or something. I don't know how it would work out, but the idea is cool. Because the dwarves, they did fight a lot of dragons in their times. They, um, they were in the north where the dragons... Like the dragons, uh, they, they lived in the north somewhere. I believe in the Fordalweth or some kind of place. I don't tr really remember. It might be around the Withered Heath, I think it was. Nazgul returned to Toldor. Khan of Khan is the King of Rohan. Is that the taking of Harrow then? Wow, that was a lot of shit. Ah, uh, these guys are probably going around here and going for uh, for Dale, it might look like. Yeah, of course. This was the thing. I should probably help these guys out. Let's help them out. Alright, we got the barracks now in Dale's Souls. Can we recruit the Dragon Slayers now? Please. Yeah, we can! There we go, the Dragon Slayers. Beautiful. Alright, so in the army, the elite army will only have these elites. Uh, what will this bring us though? Ah, it will bring us some Iron Guard as well. That's also a very good unit. But I think I want to get the Orkani clan hall first. We're not making enough money though. Definitely not. Yeah, let's just send them up to King Dane. We'll be fine in Sakala for now. And we'll send these guys down. I will move out. Move High pass, we still, yeah, we have Balmid over here. So that's fine. Now these turns, I think, is going to be a little bit sloppy. So I think I definitely will wait until something notable happens. Uh, just for the sake of making this a little bit entertaining at this point. Because when we play the Dwarves of Erebor, it's becoming a weird situation over here. I will not waste words on you. Yeah, we're just going to hold you, but I don't want to face these guys in the field. I want to fight them in the siege battles. I will not waste words on you. And it's no point to just pushing too hard I... either. At your service. But we'll see what I will happen will over here. They're probably going to take Skarn. And once we take it back, we'll have the borders established all around here, which is making it a lot easier for us. We'll have the Dwarven catapult in a turn as well. Alright, so I think I'm just going to see you when th something notable happens. Yeah. Alright, we are attacked at Rubar. A lot of turns have already passed, but we are setting up a brave defense over here. Uh, we're probably going to crush them now, but um, let's see how it goes. We're just going to let them come in into this little blob here, and we're going to use our archers to shoot them. And I think these guys will be able to hold quite well. Let's send these guys in now. We're just going to be a little bit aggressive here with these troops. And we're just going to surround them. Uh, we have recruited some Dragon Slayers now, and a lot of Sons of the Fall, and some more Arcana units. But the turns are going slow, I still haven't expanded more around at the Misty Mountains, but we are eventually going to expand a little bit more. So I think the next episode is going to be focused around uh, these armies just attacking Rune and Mordor. I think that is what we are going to position them around. 
because at this point just fielding normal dwarven troops isn't that exciting and it's this campaign is just becoming very easy at this point so that is what we are going to do for now on but i think that's going to be exciting seeing just real elite armies just bringing down entire countries by themselves i think that's definitely what you guys want to see we could probably, yeah, these guys are fine for the time being. Probably send this cavalry a little bit closer so that they can capture a lot of troops when the time comes. Are these guys getting arcing shots or are they getting some nice shots here? Yeah, they're getting perfect shots. And the back of tribesmen doesn't hold up very well against these arrows. We should have had some axe throws over here. Position them here and just throw them into right into this blob right here. It would have been perfect. Could probably have put down another art unit here as well, uh, instead of three of our units over here. Yeah, this is how we defend this place. <laughs> I've actually missed my microphone on the floor twice now, that's why I've had to edit a little bit. That's quite, quite funny to be honest. These guys should go out of shield wall and just attack. Just pure mass. But I think we can hold out to rebar for a long time and we can soon start to recruit the dwarven catapults. Which will be very nice for us. Let's see here. Yeah, we're still doing pretty alright over here. We can send in these guys as well. Just to further strengthen the line. Let's get them out of um, shield wall formation and just push. Let's get, use this ability. We haven't used Thorin a lot in this campaign so far. And I'm not thinking about it either. Ah, there the general goes. I rather want to use Gimli. He's going to lead the army which will conquer either Mordor or the Rune. I haven't decided. But it's going to be a long walk that these armies have to walk. Um, because they are recruited at Mount Gundabad. And so far not the half army is even recruited. Because recruitment time on these units are so slow. But we might actually be able to bring down both Mordor and Rune with one army. If we just use only elites, we'll have to see. But it's going to be very, very interesting in my opinion. And I think that's what you usually don't see in these kind of campaigns. Just real, real, real elites. Um, taking down an entire faction like themselves. That would be very, very cool. It will be kind of like my Imladris campaign where I bring down... Or where I bring a very elite army and just bring down... Uh, model with it so that's hopefully what we are going to do mid game in this campaign because at this point i think we have got a st stalemate here and it's not really that interesting so let me hear your thoughts in the comment section if you would like that these guys can probably yeah just completely surround them at this point all right they are going to get slaughtered now they're all just going to rot, and we're just going to capture as many as we can. Take advantage of this. Yeah, these guys are getting completely shredded now. Alright, this should surely break these Dragon Guard. There's no hope for them left now. Because look at these poor people. They have been given a nice upgrade though, uh, if we can find them. Yeah, they have like this black kind of textures, which is really cool looking, I think. Let's see how this goes. They should soon start to rot, I don't see why they're not rotting at the moment. But at this point, they will not... Like, this is never smart of you to push out like this, because you see they're surrounding us. But we have so many troops, and their morale should suffer very quickly and we just want to finish them off if you really wanted to do it the proper way you want to send units around outside and just surround them but you see they cannot hold out the tide wave of the zones of Aule which is coming upon them and wow can't really hear the sound right now I don't know what that is it might be some weird bug that's kind of cool I haven't discovered that before Alright, but I will just see you after this battle, if uh, something notable happens. Alright, but they are brought down. Like, the sound bug was just that I muted um, the game somehow. I don't know what I pushed, but that was really weird. 
But now as we have taken out these guys, I think we can exit the battle. And we have now defended Rubar, and we are also getting a reinforcement army which will take on Vintir in the hour. If you remember the cavalry I sent from Miraidon, as well as I'm getting some reinforcements from Kirikathol. And they will take out uh, Vintir on the hour, and from that point on we'll be able to recruit units here as well. But of course I do want to bring down Ruin with a large stack army. Yeah, these guys are going to try to probably face my army off. But we can just siege out um, Vintir in the hour now and we'll get the garrison to attack us outside the, the walls. So it's turn 76, it's a like a couple of turns has passed already. And we are just building parks everywhere and mines and such, just preparing to bring that army all the way around. But I guess I can just show you how many troops I've gathered so far. It's not too many. Let's get the Axemith Guild. Uh, Karasant is still on siege. So here we have two Hammers of Gundabad and some Sons of the Fall. And in the Ains Halls we have the Dragon Slayers and some more Sons of the Fall. Here we got some more Blacklock Engineers. And in Erebor we're now starting to recruit another unit of Axgar, which we can now recruit pretty frequently. And I'm also um, building the Hall of Aula so that we can retrain all our troops with the max armor upgrade. That's going to be nice. And in Dane's Halls we now got the Orokani Hall, so let's get the more Blacklock Engineers. We're already pre-building here, of course, in most places now. And down here you can see how the situation is. I got map info and alliances with both Imladris and the Northern Dundain. And over here I think I might attack Kirishnash actually. Oh, that's a pretty large army. But that would be a nice battle, just having all of these armies attack at Bruinos, to be honest. Now he can't move, so he can't reinforce. And let's just hit... Really nice, actually. Because we have gotten some troops here and we're getting more in reinforcements. So we might be able to see the King's Axe and King Shields in the next episode. I really hope to do so. We have some more of these here as well. Uh, over here we're simply just getting some economy buildings and most of the places can't build anything. In Kandum we now have another general and we have sent Gimli and some of these guys to this fort so he will lead a great army and so now it's just about waiting for these elites to just finish so that we can make a really powerful army but eventually we'll have them all and but they will have to work their way around of course and just sent these to mid island just to reinforce and rubar now holds pretty firmly to be honest I think they have some kind of army somewhere here. But now we're going to attack Mithir in the hour with this army. And from that on, the north should be established. Kind of. And I think Yerun still has some other army around here. Captain Gear or something. I can't see them now though. We might want to push towards Abatarik over here. What we might do is bring down Rune with this army and bring down Mordor with the elite army. I think that's more suitable. Because we probably want to hit uh, Elgar now with this army. Yeah. We're going to hit Elgar. I think that's more profitable. And we're going to have to wait so long anyways that in we're probably going to have to defeat Rune um, when this army will come down. But yeah. It's going to take a while. And I think I'm just going to end the episode here. But we are definitely going to see some nice action next episode. The Goblins of Mora will be brought down. And we're going to reestablish the Casa Dooms. And recruit some nice elites over here. I really want to buy Casa Doom from Casa Doom. Uh, we could probably exchange this for some other mountain regions or something. So that we can get some Casa Doom Guardians. But yeah, I think that's it for this episode. So once again, I don't think this episode was that interesting. We're not facing the most interesting stuff at the moment. And we just want to see our elites now at this point. We want to see these Dragon Slayers and Sons of the Fall in action. And we will. 
but it's going to take a while to get them here. But once we do, the episode is going to be so much worth it, and it's going to be very, very interesting. But on the other hand, our Dorvinian campaign is going very, very good, and we're besieging Baradur now. It's going to see some nice action over there. So, I will get faction guides and lore videos up as soon as I can, but the exams are just keeping me back for the meantime, and I gotta focus on that. But uh, I will have 10 weeks uh, summer vacation this year, and that's just going to be so massive, and I'm going to be able to bring out a lot of quality content to you guys. But in the meantime, be a little patient. This campaign will... It will... I will not waste become more interesting in a little bit but in the meantime just be patient so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoy the siege battles and i will see you guys for the next episode